Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, we are going to check on our worms again today. It's been day six since we've had them and the third day since I, went, uh, I fed them worm chow. Obviously I've been watching a lot more videos in between and I did come in and just look, not disturb, but just check on them a couple of times and um, they were at the surface and they were eating and that's been quite cool. So let's get to it. Before we start, thank you for watching. I just really want to say, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, um, hit the like button, and uh, let's get to it. So, today's not going to be a long video. I just wanted to jump in here and just check up on the worms to see how they're getting on with the food. And maybe talk a little bit more. Oh look, we've got a sprout of something here. It's fully from the chow. We'll talk about that in a second. Ooh. You see, right at the top, which tells me that these guys are happy and they're eating. Let's put this maybe in here. So the moisture level is quite good, still. I will put this back on. Don't want these little fellas to escape or be hurt. Let me just speed up this process so I don't waste your time. So <clears throat> I've removed most of those leaves. This is fine, I'm gonna mix these into the top layer, but I did find a lot of worms right directly under these leaves, which tells me they were still feeding. But that chow is completely gone. Like completely gone. Let's have a look at the bottom of this uh, pumpkin. Oops, okay. It was getting soft. There's some babies on it, but it's definitely getting softer to the touch. touch. I am guessing that there are some worms in there and there's definitely worms in here. If you can see that. That's super interesting. I love that. But I just want to go here and just look directly under where all this food was. Tons of worms. They're all wiggling away. Nice big ones. I mean, I've got big hands. It's a little baby. You can see the difference in size. Let's just put this on the leaves for the time, for the time being. Um, let's just get rid of this little baby. Oh, hello. I don't want to put you too far away. There you go. Okie dokie. So let's give this a little fluff while we talk about chow. I'm obviously gonna give this another feed today because they absolutely love that. That's a big boy. I'm definitely noticing, it's, even though it's been three days, I'm definitely noticing more worms. They're definitely eating and they're definitely growing. That is so good. I love how quickly he's moving. Look at the size of him as well, look at him go. The moisture level's good. I will wet the... There's loads of worms in here. I can definitely see them more now than when I first could. I think that's just because The baby ones have filled up a little bit more. Might be, I mean, I know it's only been six days, but if they've got the right nutrition, it can definitely have a positive impact. 
so let's talk about that quickly um, as you guys I don't know if you if this is your first video watching I am a chef I was born in you know grew up in restaurants my father had restaurants my uncles had restaurants my aunties were in the food business you know my, my whole family um, we were immigrants in what they were I guess uh, immigrants in the UK from the 60s and were entrepreneurs so they had restaurants and factories and other businesses um, and they you know I grew up around food I learned to cook when I was eight years old my grandmother taught me how to cook and I've been feeding people ever since so I'm a chef um, most recently over the last four or five years I um, had restaurants in the UAE in Dubai and I converted them into plant-based restaurants and um, I started to get more into like food science I had a great understanding of I had a great understanding of uh, food and tastes and flavors and textures due to my um, due to being lucky enough to travel around the world and, and taste you know different ingredients just put that back there so I've been definitely getting more and more knowledgeable and um, interested oops don't try to escape me I've been really good with people not escaping um, so I look at everything from two points nutrition taste flavor obviously um, and sustainability what I found about this worm chow I watched a lot of people online with their worm chow recipes and what I noticed was they add a lot of items so they add a bunch of raw items like um, items maybe like cornmeal um, chia seed buckwheat and then they go ahead and then they they go and then put bird seed which bird seed will probably have the same ingredients in it so I took a look at the nutrition of of bird seed and then looked at nutrition of chow uh, and just found where some of the gaps might be so I'm not doing anything different I'm just basically doing I, was, I just wanted to go through sort of what I'm using in the chow and how it's uh, what the sort of properties are of those items so obviously oats oats are one of the most dense nutritious foods um, that we have and it's you know it's got vitamin B6 and calcium the cornmeal it's got great sugars again magnesium vitamin B6 uh, flaxseed which I think is the secret weapon in this it's like it's got a lot of carbohydrates but it's really rich in omega threes, but you can only, like, as a human being, you can only get the omega three if you grind the flaxseed. If you put them whole into your foods, you won't get the benefit, you know, the the benefits of that omega three. But it also has, you know, vitamin C, magnesium, iron, calcium. Um, I use sesame seeds. Again, magnesium, really high in potassium, great for fat. Uh, again, iron and calcium. The whole wheat flour, uh, again, potassium, iron, magnesium, B6, buckwheat, manganese, magnesium, phosphorus, uh, zinc. Uh, the split black lentils, again, really high. I think the, the thing is, they're all really high in calcium, iron and magnesium. And then <clears throat> the sweetener, the sweetener that I use, the jaggery or the panella, as we say, that's also extremely high in minerals because it's not. It's like molasses, so because it's not a refined sugar, it's not spun in centrifuges when you make re regular sugar. It. Um, I'm really sorry about that. It's really high in minerals, and the fact that they can digest it really quick makes it a really fast food, and that's why they get nice and fat. That's why when you buy your worms from your 
big breeders, you get really big, fat, juicy worms, whether you use them for fishing or composting. It's something that I realized and noticed. So, that's a really good one. So, the, obviously, fats in the sesame seeds, omegas, which, again, if you're using flaxseed and omega, you don't have to use seaweed or kelp, uh, kelp meal because I'm guessing the kelp is high in iron and also in vitamin, uh, in omega-3. There we go. Let's see gas water. Give it a nice soak thing. I've been very lucky actually, the, the moisture levels have kept really well. Uh, this room doesn't get much air, I've been leaving the front door open um, for it. And it has been covered with this piece of cardboard, which is great. So just giving it a little bit of water now is going to do it no harm at all. Because I do not want it to dry out. And we are, you know, today's the 21st of December. But it's 74 degrees. Why is that? Maybe I've got to turn the light off for you to see properly. It's good. In Celsius. These guys are happy. Super happy. And I'm super happy. They love that chow, which is amazing for me because it's been really good put that on top and I actually took off that netting the other day um, yesterday there's the this screen that I've been using so uh, none escaped and that's it really thank you very much for checking in I'm impressed with that this tells me that I need to come check back and feed these guys every three days give them a little fluffing and just check on the bed which is kind of good I think if I had to lay, leave them for longer I would get a little bit antsy um, and impatient so even two days you know I think two days is not long enough but three days could be perfect so I will check back again in three days and I hope you guys join me again Thank you for watching. If you're here at the end, please go make sure you hit that like button and subscribe um, to keep ahead and keep abreast of all the videos that I post. I promise you, I will post start posting videos of um, me doing some stuff in the kitchen and creating some food. Um, I am waiting for a new kitchen to come in, but I might just use a temporary one that we've got set up and then you can see how we live. We're living like hobos in the house until our new kitchen arrives. So thank you again and catch you soon.